Hey guys, welcome to another Elvistory video. Um, now in this video I want to talk about something that's uh, very important that that Elvis did. Um, and this is in reference to uh, the Arizona Battleship Memorial in uh, Hawaii, in Pearl Harbor. Now, uh, what happened was, for some of you that don't know, on December 7th, 1941, uh, the Japanese attacked uh, the naval base in Pearl Harbor, and the USS Arizona was a ship that was uh, basically decimated, and approximately uh, 1,177 people lost their lives that day on the USS Arizona. So, what uh, Colonel Parker and actually Colonel Parker read um, in the newspaper that they were trying to build a memorial for the uh, USS Arizona and that um, it was stalled due to uh, lack of funding. And so Colonel Parker basically put it together that, uh, and he, he, he uh, brought this up to Elvis and Elvis agreed to it wholeheartedly because at that point in 1961, Elvis was basically only a year removed from the army. And um, this was something, Elvis was a very patriotic person and this uh, was something that was very near and dear to him. And he, you know, he definitely wanted to do it, so Colonel went ahead and uh, put together a, a charity concert at uh, Block Arena in Hawaii to raise money for the construction of the uh, USS Arizona Memorial. And they made it to where um, tickets would be basically for everybody, you know, whether you have a lot of money or you don't. And their price, the tickets uh, ranged from like three dollars to a hundred dollars basically and um, so the uh, concert was held uh, March 25th in 1961 at uh, Block Arena and basically they were trying to raise approximately fifty thousand dollars which was what they needed to get this you know construction completed and it turns out that not only did they um, raise enough money, um, they actually made, I think, over $62,000. So basically, uh, it pretty much, if it wasn't for Elvis doing these charity shows, who knows what would have become of that memorial. Because at the time, they were just, you know, they couldn't figure out how to get it completed and I think uh, at that point they had constructed as much as they could but they couldn't get enough uh, money to finish it so so Elvis basically jumping into this and doing this charity show more or less had a very big hand in the completion of this memorial and uh, that was huge and so I believe they can they finished the construction a year later in 62 and then uh, in 1965 Elvis went back with uh, Vernon his dad and Colonel Parker to see you know the completed uh, memorial and he went there while he was filming uh, Paradise Hawaiian style and what he, they wanted to do was um, they, they had a wreath put there. Elvis had a wreath put there. And he placed it there. And it was a wreath. It was like, I think it was shaped like a bell. And it was made up of um, 1,177 white carnations in uh, memory of each person that had perished on the USS Arizona on December 7th. Now, um, basically, this 
uh, that attack launched us in the United States into World War II. And because um, I think we were having uh, conflicts with the Japanese at that point, and then it was, you know, for some of you that don't know, the Pearl Harbor attack was a surprise attack, basically. You, in the U.S. did not see it coming. And so, basically, uh, the next day, um, December 8th, we declared war on Japan. And the U.S. was catapulted into World War II. So that's the history behind that. So, basically what I want to do for you guys, I want to read the full story that I have in front of me. Um, about, you know, the attack and Elvis's, uh, what I gave you now was just like a brief summary, but I wanted to give you guys like a, a detailed, uh, story of the attack and, you know, Elvis's, uh, part in getting the construction completed on the USS Arizona. So I'm, I'm going to read this to you guys. If I stumble a little bit, please forgive me. But I'll do my best not to. Alright, so... Basically, uh, the story goes, The Imperial Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941 inflicted a brutal blow on the U.S. Pacific Fleet, but only two active ships were a total loss, USS Oklahoma and USS Arizona. Oklahoma was eventually refloated, but was too badly damaged to repair and return to service. Arizona, however, had been devastated by a cataclysmic explosion caused by a bomb crashing through the deck and igniting the ship's forward magazine. Nearly 80% of Arizona's 1,512 crewmen were lost, and most of them were entombed in the sunken ship. The wreck immediately became a memorial as passing ships rendered honors to the Arizona and her crew throughout the war. Proposals to erect a permanent memorial were promoted as early as 1943, but it was not until 1949 that an, an organized effort began to take shape following the creation of the Pacific War Memorial Commission. As the PWMC considered ideas to formally recognize the role of Hawaii during the war, which would include a memorial to the Arizona, Admiral, Admiral Arthur Radford had a flagstaff placed on the wreck in 1950 in order that the colors be raised at the site every day. The modest memorial was later expanded to include wooden platforms and a commemorative plaque. Requests for federal funds to improve the memorial in early 1950s were denied because U U.S. military actions in Korea were deemed a pri priority. In 1958, President Dwight Eisenhower signed Public Law 85-344 that allowed the PWMC to raise money on the Navy's behalf for the construction of a memorial to the Arizona. Several designs were considered before architect Alfred Priest's plan to build a concave marble bridge that straddled the wreck was selected. A fundraising goal of $500,000 was set and the initial response from the public was promising. An episode of the popular TV, popular TV series, This Is Your Life, dedicated to Medal of Honor recipient Rear Admiral Samuel Fuqua sounded the initial call for donations generating 95,000. However, the project quickly stalled as donations dried up. By the start of 1960, only $155,000 had been raised. The drive was in desperate need of a swift and hard kick. So this is where Colonel Tom Parker comes in and Elvis, of course. Colonel Tom Parker read about the struggling campaign in a newspaper and spotted an opportunity as Elvis Presley's manager. He was eager to get a bit of po positive publicity for his client, who had been out of circulation for a couple of years after being drafted in the U.S. Army. 
Parker surmised that a benefit concert for the USS Arizona Memorial would raise much needed awareness of the fundraising campaign while also demonstrating that Elvis still had drawing power. Elvis was not only pleased to be able to perform for an audience, he was a patriot who genuinely believed in the cause of wanting to help. The PWMC accepted Elvis's generous offer and began making arrangements with the Navy to use the 4,000 seat block arena at Pearl Harbor as the venue for the concert. It was the same arena that had hosted the Battle of Music the evening prior to the attack in 1941. The Battle of Music was a spirited competition that determines the best ship band in the Pacific Fleet. Although they had been eliminated from contention, the band from the Arizona was present and played dance music for the attendees. They would never perform again. The, enti the entire band was killed in the explosion on the ship the next morning. Oh, God. With, with the venue secured and the show scheduled for March 25, 1961, Parker set ticket prices ranging from $3 to $100 and announced that everyone would have to buy a ticket to see the show. Rank usually have its, has its privileges, but Parker seemed to take pleasure in rebuffing admirals and generals who approached him about compliment, complimentary tickets. When he said, when he said uh, he, everyone had, had to pay, he meant everyone had to pay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Even the performers even the performers as well. Elvis bought a hundred dollar ticket for himself, then bought dozens more to give to staff and patients at a military hospital. Elvis Pearl Flyer to reduce out of pocket expenses, Parker tried to sell networks the rights to broadcast the concert as a television special but was unable to secure an agreement. Fortunately, Paramount signed Elvis to star in Blue Hawaii, which paid for him and his entourage to re relocate to Honolulu for the filming of the movie, which coincided with the benefit concert. It's a it is apparent that Elvis did not view the concert as merely a career-enhancing photo opportunity. He came prepared to give the audience the best performance he could. He brought a talented band including several members from a group of accomplished session musicians known as the, the Nashville A-Team. Guitarist Hank Garland, bassist Bob Moore, pianist Floyd Kramer, and saxophonist Boots Randolph, whose yakety sax became synonymous with comedian Benny Hill. He joined Elvis regularly, joined, uh, joined Elvis's regular drummer, DJ Fontana, and guitarist Scotty Moore. Moore was no stranger to Pearl Harbor, having spent time there while serving in the Navy years earlier. Wow, so Scotty Moore served in Pearl Harbor. Did not know that. The show would also include performances by local comedic act Sterling Mossman, Elvis's backing voc vocal group, The Jordanaires, and Grand Ole Opry star Minnie Pearl. Wow. After a brief introduction by Rear Admiral Robert Campbell of the 14th Naval District, Elvis took the stage as hundreds of teenagers screeched in excitement. Elvis looked resplendent in his signature gold lame jacket with silver sequin lapels. He let out a brief screech of his own in response to the ecstatic audience before launching into his hit Heartbreak Hotel. All accounts state that Elvis was in peak form, giving an enthusiastic and an energetic performance that included favorites like All Shook Up, Don't Be Cruel, Are You Lonesome Tonight, and It's Now or Never. He finished his show with a rollicking version of Hound Dog, during which he said across the stage, excuse me, 
which he slid across the stage on his knees. The 15 songs set and 45 minutes of stage time were, were among the longest of his career. The concert would also be his last for eight years. That's because he went on to do all the movies after that. So, okay. The benefit was a resounding success. Ticket sales accounted for 47000 with additional donations of $5,000 coming from Elvis himself. And push it, that, would, that pushed the total to $60,000. Funding for the memorial was still well short of its target. With the electricity of Elvis had generated to jump start, to jump start the campaign that was needed. Money began to flow from other sources after Elvis's charity concert. So that generated, like Elvis doing this show basically inspired, you know, other do don donations to come in besides what he had raised himself. So, um, let me see, where did I leave off here? Yeah, the combination of public funds and private donations. Did I say this? The, the combination of public funds and private donations, including 40000 from Revel raised through the sale of model kits of the Arizona, reached the goal of $500,000 by September 1961. Okay. Just five months after the con concert construction on the memorial was completed by the end of the year. So basically, oh yeah, okay. The USS Arizona Memorial was officially dedicated on May 30th, 1962. Elvis certainly took pride in his role in building a permanent memorial to the crew of the Arizona and made several visits to the site on subsequent trips to Hawaii. The memorial has reached its own iconic status and now welcomes one and a half million visitors a year wow so i mean i'm trying to, i stumbled a few times reading this it's a lot to read but mostly as i'm talking i'm getting i'm getting a little choked up because uh you know anytime elvis does something it's like you know his heart's in it 100%. And he, if, if he believed in like some kind of charity so much, you know, he would do his best to give like a great show or donate as much money as he could. And what was nice was, you know, by doing this, I mean, even if you have anything against Tom Parker, this actually was um, originally Colonel Tom Parker's idea. And he presented it to Elvis. So, you know, I, I believe, you know, whether you like him or you don't, uh, Colonel Tom Parker needs to be recognized for his hand in this as well, you know. So, basically, that that's the whole story behind how Elvis Presley helped uh, get the funding needed to complete the U.S., USS Arizona Memorial and to this day I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the pictures it's a really nice uh, memorial and it's like uh, um, it's right over where the actual ship is in the harbor the ship is still there in the harbor and the uh, memorial is right over the ship you can walk right through the memorial and you look down you still see the ship in the water it's really, it's, it's quite a sight, actually. And like I said, um, Elvis visited there a couple of times. And, uh, you know, the one time with the, uh, with the wreath that I told you guys about. And then I think um, he was on vacation, I think, one year. And uh, I think it was 68. And him and Priscilla and Charlie Hodge and Joe Esposito, they all went out there. And there's... Uh, there's pictures of them, you know, walking around and looking at everything. And and I think Elvis was just, you know, he was really, that was something that was very uh, 
important to him and you could see it in his face if you look at some of the pictures it was a very important thing and you know he was very proud that he had a hand you know in in uh everything uh getting completed because you know who knows at that point if um they would have came up with the money so elvis not only raised money by doing his concert the 60 grand or more or whatever it was after that it inspired like i said it inspired a whole bunch of other uh different um people i guess to donate as well and then you know it was like the floodgates opened basically after he performed that charity concert for it so you know basically uh i i think this was like, to me, this was an important video to do because, uh, number one, just to also, uh, I'm actually filming, filming this on, on Veterans Day and, uh, filming, I'm recording it on Veterans Day. So, you know, that kind of inspired me to do this. I mean, I was going to do it anyway down the road, but I felt now was a good a time as any. And, uh. Like I said, that this was a very uh, important thing to Elvis. And thanks to Elvis Presley and Colonel Tom Parker, basically you can thank them for the completion of that memorial. So, all right, guys. Um, I just wanted to uh, basically explain that story in case you didn't know it. Some of you guys probably do, but... If you don't, I wanted to <laughs> explain it to you guys, all right? So, um, and basically, this is also my way of paying tribute to two things, basically. Um, all the people that lost their lives on the Pearl, on, uh, on the Pearl Har Harbor attack on the USS Arizona. This is really, like, for me, it's like a dedication to them in memorial of them, you know, Thank you guys, you know, God rest your souls. Thank you for your service, you know, and also to Elvis and, and uh, Tom Parker. Thank you guys too. You know, Elvis was, Elvis was a veteran too. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. So thank you for your service, all who perished on the USS Arizona. And thank you, Elvis Presley for your service as well as a united states soldier you know so all right guys uh i put together a bunch of pictures of you know uh the memorial concert that elvis put on in march 25th and 61 um a bunch of pictures of elvis in later years going back to place the wreath at uh the memorial and i think there's a few pictures of the one of the last trips he took there with uh, Priscilla, Joe, and Charlie. That, um, that's in there as well. Alright guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this story. And uh, I hope everybody's doing great. I thank you for your support as always. And um, if you like the video, when you're done watching it, if you wouldn't mind, <laughs> just take a second and just hit that like button if you could. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Okay, guys. So on that note, as I always say, TCB and God bless.